how to play Jimmy Page's rhythm guitar parts for a whole lot of love. A one, two, three. <laughs> Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started breaking down these classic Jimmy Page riffs. Getting started with the intro section at a nice slow tempo. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, and then that will repeat twice through. Okay, breaking that down, getting started with measure one there. Again, it sounds like this, coming in after beat three. Very, very simple. I'm sliding to the seventh fret of the low E string. Then I'm grabbing the fifth fret of the A string and the open D string and applying a slate bend. Then we're back to the seventh fret low E. Then back to the A string for that slight bend. Making sure to get a little bit of the D string in there too. Okay, from there into measure two, we're gonna play. Okay, so that was an E power chord, seventh fret of the A string, and the ninth frets of the D string and the G string. I'm striking all three strings. Then I'm going to the low E string, plucking it open three times. And I'm applying a palm mute, okay? Controlling the resonance of the string. I'm laying my palm heavy down right here on the bridge saddle. All right, that's gonna give me that nice thick tone. So far you have. Now, right there in measure two, we're playing 16th notes. So make sure that you're counting that one E and uh. Okay, we're gonna be repeating that. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, then into the next measure, five E and a, six E and. Okay, right after the sixth repetition, we're going to stop a little bit early and play an up, down, slide away on that E power chord. Okay, so, so far you have. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, then we're going to repeat what we played in measure number one. And then repeat the whole thing once more before going into the verse section. Okay, that's three measures of music right there. You put all together and it should sound like this real slow. One, two, three. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a. And a little bit faster, one, two, three. Okay, if you can play that, then you're ready to move into the verse section. Okay, very good everybody. Now jumping into the verse section. This is going to be very simple because basically we're just abbreviating what we played in the intro. So again, real slow, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, it's just that riff repeating eight times in total. Okay, so same exact thing, sliding up to the seventh fret. Jumping into our power chords in measure two. One E and a two E and a three. You can slide away on beat number three and then repeat the whole riff. Okay, into the next repetition. Okay, now, if you're listening to the original track, you're gonna notice that there's a very cool variation to this main riff at the end of the tune. It's gonna look and sound like this, real slow. Okay, then it's gonna alternate back to the original version. So one more time. Oh 
Okay, so that's gonna start off the exact same way, sliding up to that seventh fret of the low E string, and then go to the fifth fret of the A string with the open D, then back to seven, so. Okay, now this is where it's different. We're gonna slide up to the 12th fret of the A string. All right, then moving into the next measure, we're going to play the 11th fret of the A string coupled with the low E string open. Okay, so. All right, then we're gonna follow up with two plucks of the low E string, counting. One, and uh, Okay, then move to the power chord, E power chord, just like before, and we're gonna play two E and a three as if we were playing the original riff. So. Okay, put all that together, and we have. Okay, for a very cool variation to the main riff. Okay, tremendous work everybody. You have the intro, you have the verse, you have the verse variation. And now the last thing for today, I'm gonna to teach you how to play the chorus section. So real slow, coming out of the verse, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so pretty simple. If you're coming out of that riff, you're gonna start the power chord, one E and a two E and a three E. Okay, so right after the third beat, we're quickly moving to a D major chord. Just taking the power chord shape down a whole step, but then switching to the major triad. Okay, now if you'd like, you could stick with the power chord shape, but I think adding in that major third adds a little bit of brightness to it, it's very nice. Okay, so I have the fifth fret of the A string, and I'm using my ring finger to bar across the D string, G string, and the B string of the seventh fret. All right, I'm gonna hit four upstrokes on this chord, so. And then return back to the E power chord. You put all that together and we have the chorus section. Okay, so there you have it, everybody. That sums up all the main rhythm guitar riffs for Led Zeppelin's Whole Lot of Love. There's a couple of other small details. During the solo, we have these power chords. All right, just real quick, two strokes of the power chord and then Jimmy filling in with some licks. And I'm definitely going to be breaking down that solo as a follow-up to this lesson. Uh, other than that, we have a quick little breakdown thing where Jimmy's gonna slide away on the E power chord and then go to an open A major kind of A5 power chord in the open position, letting that ring as Robert Plant hits that really high note. All right, from there, you're just back to the riff. All right, just like that, congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform.